Hey everybody, what's up? We're gonna do some RTA with Sean, the new toy uh, today. I've done a little bit of PVE stuff with him. I wanna jump into RTA. I just had a pretty good fight, actually. Um, it was this one right here. This was a pretty good fight. We're gonna jump in and see if we can't get more like this. He actually got to get a little bit of action in this one. He's very squishy. I have him built, he's definitely my glass cannon. <laughs> so if, if, they, if they realize that early and focus him, uh, if, if I'm in trouble, but when he when he gets to start doing stuff it's pretty nice so this person was either trolling by letting the the like weight meter empty before they did everything or they were afk for the first part of this so they ended up quitting but uh sean got to do a little bit he, he was real clutch there with the stuns we only didn't get uh i can't remember the fire beast rider's name she had will but Pretty, pretty decent, pretty decent stuff. If so, so we're hoping for more like that. We're hoping he can get some good play time here. We can get him some good partners. I've been running Bay Dark Bayek more, dude. I really like him, man. He, he, he's a. I like the RNG element of him, and I really like the. He's, he's good about stripping and, and doing all the things he's supposed to do. So, I've been bringing him along a lot as well. So, let's see who all we decide to bring here. Hopefully we don't just keep running into people that are AFK. I've noticed that's a really popular thing in RTA is um, people just being AFK. And like, I, it's just kind of annoying. You know what I mean? Like if you want to farm it, at least, at least go through this part of it so that we don't have to sit and wait on you the whole time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, all right. So then maybe we'll throw in... I really like throwing khaki in. Let's throw in khaki. And maybe we'll throw in... Oh, no. Who else do we want to try? Let's just throw him in. And then I reckon we'll go Bayek and Sean. Man, what a start. Oberon Inky, that's his name, right? He's the one that if I don't do a certain amount of his HP and damage... Yeah, he'll he'll counterattack me, so I gotta be careful about him. Jesus Christ. It's exclusively light dark nat fives, which I, I can't say much. It's kinda what kinda what's going on on my end as well, but I don't even know who to ban here because I don't know anything about any of these units. I think he's the one I'm probably the most familiar with. I think Oberon can hit real hard, right? I mean, I know he's a real big pain in the ass. I feel like I should just get him out of here and and, and see what the light dark units do. You know what I mean? And then I think uh, let's just go with attack here. Yeah, th this might be a quick one. We might not even get a turn here, to be honest. I don't really know what <laughs> what to expect, but it'll be fun to see some of these units do their thing. He's got skins on all of them and everything. Um, should I just try to snipe somebody? I'm just gonna try to snipe somebody. Oh, uh, we were close. We were close. Not bad for no defense down or anything. No defense down, no attack buff. That's, re that's a really cool looking unit right there. It would be kind of nice if the punishment for being AFK was that your monsters would just only A1. I feel like that would be pretty dope. I just feel like they should punish that. It's way too common for people to just jump in here and be AFK. No follow-up? Well, RNG's just butt-fucking me all over the place today. He just keeps getting extra turns and shit, too. That's a bummer, dude. Yeah, I really feel like they should... I don't know. I, I get people want to farm it, and there's there's nice stuff to farm here, and it kind of sucks that you have to put the time into it to do that, but also, like, I don't know, man. It's just kind of annoying to have to deal with this, this like, waiting on these people every time. We might be able to sneak this win out. I don't know. I don't, again, I don't know what is... Yeah, I don't know what all this is, but... Maybe we can get out of here with a win. Can we get a violent prog or something? Is anybody on violent over here even?
I think we got... I mean, it depends on how many more violent procs she gets, I guess. I think we can... I think we got this, though. All right. Feels good, man. Feels good. Get back to your keyboard. All right, let's jump in. So we're at 1978. I think that... That skin for the Dragon Knights is like 3,000. I don't really know how possible 3,000 is going to be. I got I mean, I've done quite a few battles, and a, a lot of which, like, just to get the points for participating, but I think I've got about all my particip participation points I'm going to get. So now I think it's just going to be relying on how many more wins I get. And I don't have a great win rate here, so... Let's go with you, and I guess we'll throw in... Who's a, who's a fun one we can... I don't do much with the Annie. Maybe Monkey? Let's throw Khaki back in. I like Khaki. So we're real water heavy over here. Huh? Why don't we go... Win Monkey. And all of these units are pains in the ass. They're, they're all a pain in my ass. <laughs> Every single one of them. <laughs> Every single one of them. She's she's a real big pain in the ass. But with Dark Bayek here, maybe not such a big deal. I'm, I'm a little concerned about him. I'm kind of thinking I might want to get him out of here. This is uh, Bulwark, right? I'm not real familiar with him. But I, I'm familiar with Molong, and I know Molong can be a big problem. So maybe I'm gonna get Molong out of here. We'll go HP for everybody. And maybe they were going for something else here, and maybe me banning Molong throws them off. I don't know what I don't really know what they're going for here. Yeah, if 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 Bulwark's not a I think Daphnis is a damage dealer. If, I don't know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, um I guess let's just drop a squall. And even him being provoked, provoked, that's fine. He's going to hit her, strip something. Also hit someone else and potentially stun. Man, they gave him a kill just straight out of the gate like that. Yeah. Yes. Give me my proc, dude. Uh, he's got a bunch of shield. Let's see if we can't do something here. The proc. What's the point? Can we strip all this stuff. Maybe get a stun too. No stun. The revenge freeze. You gotta love that. Yeah, see, he's so squishy, man. He's real squishy. I was hoping for the stun there. Can we get lucky again? <sighs> All right. I don't know much about the water unicorn. I know she. I know in one form she puts will. She puts immunity on everybody every turn. But I don't know what kind of damage output we're looking at here. I know that if she keeps freezing my fucking Dark Bayek, we don't stand a chance. She's probably just going to violent proc her way to victory here, I reckon. You know what I mean? Probably going to give her some crazy freezes on my Monkey King. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's... That's kind of what we knew was going to happen. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, did my Monkey King uh, passive proc A1 anybody this entire fight? Like, did he do it? Did he do it at all?
There we go. Now, now I get a little RNG. I still don't know if it means anything, though. I, I, I don't know if we're in the clear here. Oh, I didn't see the will. Oh, good hit. Violent proc would have been huge there. Good crit. How is she getting more freezes than I'm getting stuns? That's insane. Good. Get the fuck out of here with that. That's crazy, bro. How was she freezing me more than I was stunning her? When she should have been glancing almost every time. That's why you can't do too much of this shit in one sitting. You go crazy. You lose your mind doing this too much of this. I don't know how people like do this as their profession. You know what I mean? Like RTA is their specialty. I'd lose my fucking mind doing this all the time. All right, let's throw in Riley. And let's throw in... Who? Who do we want to throw in here? I have been enjoying Khaki. He's been fun. Maybe... Let's, let's throw him in. I know they started off with water, but let's see where they go from here. So they're going all supports. So I'm going to throw these two in. And just see where they go. Yeah, they're going exclusively supports. So I'm going to throw in... I'm going to throw you in. Get rid of the. I mean, if I get rid of you, they don't have much damage, right? If I get rid of you, there's not much damage over here. There's some annoying stuff going on, but if I can, like, snipe someone, then maybe we're okay, you know what I mean? I can't remember if all the support units have will runes or not. Pretty sure my shine is faster than all of them. They do have will runes, though. Well, let's take what we can get. Can we... Trip's done? That's a great start. I should have gone after Juno. Can we strip stun? If he didn't put Sean on a scroll, okay. Additional, you can proc all the way back around so you can use your, your skill there. Um, I'd really, really love it if you'd stun her. You son of a bitch. sure how we lose this i know that i know we potentially get a lot of debuffs dropped on us in a second but i don't think it's something we can't overcome a lot of buffs on their end too but even so again i think that's fine Again, not if they keep violent proccing. Removes all beneficial effects. And... Oh. Oh, you didn't want to let me get the last hit in? Oh. I know. I know it's... Trust me, I know.
still gotta get a transmog on my Sean, but I don't like any of the Chimera transmogs right now. So that's kind of a that's kind of a bummer. Isn't it crazy that Riley gets blocked over my unicorn Sean and Bayek? Like every time I do RTA, I throw Riley in and she's she's banned like 90 to 95% of the time. People really don't want to deal with her. And I understand. <laughs> I get it. I don't want to deal with her either. So Khaki's been doing us a lot of good. Probably keep him going. And I do like Miles a lot. Uh, I do like Miles. So maybe... I like the Dark Robo, too. He's fun. That's Manon, right? Yeah. I don't want to deal with her. <laughs> uh, I don't want to deal with Sierra either, though. Here's the thing, though. Sierra more than likely is pretty squishy. Oh, that might settle it then. I don't think I can let him in here. I don't think I can let him in here. I think they I think they get to run with the squad that they want to run with. I don't think I can let him in here. And Sean doesn't get to play this round. Sad. Sad face. Sad gigs face. <laughs> You're going Sierra leader, you know you are. Really? Interesting. All right, so what are we looking at? And how strong is she? She should glance. Okay. Really a shame. I gotta get my Riley faster. Got rid of the defense down. That's nice. Let's, uh... Let's throw these up. And then let's go with just the A1 here. Beautiful. Love Dark Bayek, dude. Can't wait to get him really built well, you know what I mean? Oh, the bomb. Interesting. Okay. Let's strip you. Get you out of here. I don't have to deal with that anymore. Let me go after you. Survive the bomb? Oh, yeah. Good. Now... She can bring Sierra back to do that more. So we might need to worry about... Yeah, we might need to try to get her out of here to keep that from happening repetitively. She's going to be such a pain in the ass. I, I know it hasn't really started yet, but I know it's coming. You're dead. And done. Yeah, I, I don't imagine they were going to turn that around. I wonder if they've nerfed. Sierra's bombs. I feel like I haven't... I've, I've seen a couple of Sierras, and none of them have hit like they used to. Sierra, it used to be kind of a death sentence to get a Sierra bomb put on you. Like, if, if you went up against a Sierra, 
and she was faster and you didn't have wheel runes, it was pretty much a death sentence. You know what I mean? You were going down. And I feel like I've, I'm seeing a lot more Sierra's not be able to get that kill. Mine isn't built well, so I can't use her as a gauge. You know what I mean? Um, she's got like a not much attack. Like she's really not built well at all. But but it's like sometimes when I put a bomb on someone, it's like I might as well have not done it. I might as well not have put a bomb on them. You know what I mean? Um, whoops. So I don't know. I don't know if something's changed with her or, or what. But she's not as scary as she used to be. Maybe she maybe maybe the game has just evolved and it's easier to get stuff tankier than it used to be, so you don't notice it. But anyway. I guess this is long enough, 20 minutes or so. We got, we got a few rounds in with Sean. Got to play with him a bit. I do still need to do some stuff to him. Like, he's definitely not in his final form yet. Um, like, he's okay, you know what I mean? He's he's okay, but he's not really equipped to be in, like, battles. He's equipped to not get touched. So he's definitely in pure glass cannon form. In a perfect world, and I mean, I really want every stat on him. I want him to have high attack, high speed. I need him to have good crit stats. I want him to have good accuracy so the stun is reliable. Uh, and I want him to have some decent tank stats. I mean, I, I want him to have at least 20,000 HP so that he can kind of take a hit too. You know, I don't want it to just be a guaranteed he's going down if he gets touched. So he's kind of stat hungry. It'll be, it'll be nice to get some runes on him. I've also got Swift on him right now. I'm wondering if maybe though, Maybe I wouldn't like Violent or something. So, like I said, I got I got some playing around to do with him. He needs a lot of different stats for the way that I think I want to use him. So I'm sure we'll do more iterations of this, you know, where we play around with him and uh, and, and make tweaks and, and find a build we like. Because right now everything's basically crit rate, crit damage, attack, and accuracy. So in that sense, our runes are semi-efficient, albeit not great. I don't even know where I'm going to find these other stats, <laughs> but I want them somewhere. So I don't know. I'll have to play around with it and figure out where, where my sweet spot's going to be on him. But I'm super stoked, super stoked to have him. I do, I do have to get a transmog on him soon. But like I said, I just don't really like. Um, I don't like a lot of him. I love that, but that's not going to happen. This one's cute. Like, it's fine. But again, I don't, I'm not in love with it. This one's also really cool, but it's a World Arena reward. This is the closest one. To, like, this is the one I like the most of the ones that I can buy, but I'm not in love with it. And then there's this one, which I'm also just not super into. So it's kind of a shame. Kind of a shame. This Chimera is a really dope looking monster, but I'm just not really into... I'm not personally into any of the transmogs except this one. And I don't know how... I don't even know how that's possible. Like, is, is that... Is that this season? Would it even be possible for this season? Or was that like an old season reward? And I just never... Like, we'll never be able to get it. Yeah, I don't know. I could buy more stones and, and break 100 and get, get a skin for somebody. As well. we'll do that soon. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, see you later.